Hi, welcome to FedML. Today, I will walk you through our user-friendly MLOps, which provides the Federated Learning Service and Edge AI SDK for developers or companies to do open collaboration from anywhere on the earth in a secure manner. There are three key steps. First, bind your device to the MLOps platform. Second, invite your collaborators and build the group. Third, customize the source code and configuration, and then start the training and experiment tracking. Now, let's get started. First of all, please visit the domain open.fedml.ai, register an account there, and bind your Edge device to your account ID, which can be found at the top right. The device binding step is simple. You only need to download the run.sh script from our open source GitHub and execute it using your account ID as the argument. When the execution works well, you can go to Edge device page to check whether it is successfully connected to our MLOps platform. The second step is to invite your collaborator and build a group for federated learning. Click Invite Collaborator, copy the link, and send the link to your collaborators over email, Slack, etc. They can open the link and accept the invitation. Now you can see each other in My Collaborators and create a group with your collaborators. In the third step, let's create a training configuration and then start to run. We first show you how you can update the FL client and server source code with our FedML open source library. Please download FedML open source library and enter into the folder Build ML Ops Package. You can make changes in source code and configurations, such as fedml.yaml file. Then, by running build.sh, you will generate your server package and client package and upload them in the configuration page, where you can also modify the hyperparameters again as needed, and then click Save. After that, you can create a project and start a run with the configuration you saved. Finally, our MLOps platform provides experiment tracking for you, including the training progress and device status, the training results such as accuracy and loss over the round index, the system performance such as CPU and memory utilization. That's it. We hope our MLOps make your life easier. Welcome your feedback.